In an earlier video, we discussed how to add tray ceilings to various rooms throughout a floor plan. Rather than delete or have alternate floor plans, what we will do is control which tray ceiling we will see through building options. Changing from the 3D textured model into the floor plan, we can edit the tray ceiling. From the common tab, we can see that this tray ceiling has been stored as part of the alternate tray ceiling one building option. For this next lesson, where we will be creating a round tray ceiling, we will create a new building option for the alternate ceiling. To set up the new building option, select Model, followed by Building Options. Select Building Option number 3, Highlight, and type in a new name, Alternate Tray Ceiling, Number two, through the use of building options, we can control what is going to be seen on screen as well as calculated in the bill of materials. From the status bar in the upper right hand corner, click on the building option selection. Remove the check mark next to the visibility for alternate tray ceiling number one to turn it off. Enable alternate tray ceiling number two. With tray ceiling number one turned off, we now have a blank canvas to begin the design of our round tray ceiling. For the purpose of simplifying the drawing at this time, change into drawing mode and turn off the furniture building option. Within the floor plan, we're going to go to draw, circle, and select from the circle option to sketch in a template which will be used now for defining where the circular tray ceiling is going to be placed. Using the edit item feature, modify the circle to a 4 foot radius or 8 foot diameter. Using the move function, position the circle which represents our tray ceiling placement in the center of the room. Our first step in creating the circular tray ceiling will be to input the walls that will build the vertical portion of the tray. From the ribbon bar, select draw followed by curved wall. Using the start and radius option and the partition three and a half inches, we can snap to the points on the circle with the curved wall. With the two halves of the tray now sketched, we can modify the walls for both their height as well as their offset. Positioning the cursor over the wall, right click, select edit. From the wall edit dialog, modify the wall height to 15 inches and an offset of 10 foot 4. This will represent the vertical placement of the wall as well as the vertical height of the tray. A selection of the common tab shows that this wall is being stored as tray ceiling 2. Using repeat edit, the same changes can be applied to the other half of the circular tray. A quick view within 3D shows the overall shape as well as the offset and height of the tray ceiling to date. To continue the design, we will go back into the floor plan and from the mode selector, change into ceiling mode. From the ribbon bar, select draw ceiling system. Using the manual trace, trace in the lower portion of the tray ceiling. Upon completion of the polygon, the ceiling will be added. Next, we will need to cut the hole out for the circular tray portion of the ceiling. This can be done by selecting Draw, Hole, Ceiling Hole Polygon. Position the cursor on the ceiling and click. Next, sketch the polygon shape of the hole. Polygons must be sketched in straight line format to begin with, and then we can go in and modify the deflection of each individual edge. With the rectangular hole sketched in, position your cursor on the edge of the hole and edit. From the rectangular hole edge, type in the deflection, in this case 13 and a half inches. Proceed to do this for each of the four sides of the polygon to create the full circular hole in the ceiling for this tray. With the hole cut, change into the 3D shaded mode to view the tray ceiling to date. The final step of our tray ceiling will be to actually add the elevated tray portion. Changing back into the floor plan, change into interior mode. 
From the ribbon bar, select Draw, followed by Tray. As it's desired to just simply have a flat tray, check the No Profile option. From the Draw Polygon dialog, select the Manual Trace method and OK. Proceed to now trace the outside perimeter of the tray ceiling. Our first step will be to now edit the tray ceiling. From here, the upper depth can be set to half inch to represent the thickness of the drywall. All other widths and depths will be set to zero at this time. And while a deflection could be manually input here, we can also use the move adjust item to simply drag each edge of the upper tray to reference the wall. Finally, using edit item, modify the tray and give the upper width or the span of the tray to be set to 4 feet. And this will fill in that upper tray with ceiling board. A quick view in 3D shows the ceiling, walls and interior tray working in concert to create the circular tray. Finally, to finish this out, we're going to add crown mold. This will once again be done within the floor plan in interior mode. Select Draw, Crown Mold. Select the Profile and Manual Trace. Click to start, click for the opposite endpoint, and right click to finish drawing the polygon. Using Move Adjust Item, adjust the reference circle for the crown mold to the curved wall of the tray. Once the crown mold has been adjusted to reference the curved wall, you can now use the adjust item feature to select each end of the crown molding and adjust its length so that it follows the radius of the wall. With one half of the crown mold in, we can once again return to draw and crown mold, select the profile and sketch the width of the circle. Using Move and Adjust Item, adjust the crown mold to reference the curved wall of the tray. As before, adjust the lengths of the curved crown mold to follow around to the midpoint of the tray. Finally, the crown mold can be modified. Using the right-click edit process, select the offset field and position the crown mold 15 inches up. Remember, this has been placed as two halves, so you'll need to modify each half of the crown mold. A quick review within 3D shows the crown molding now located at the top of the curved walls of the tray. It's just that simple. Through a combination of ceilings, curved walls, and interior mode, as well as the use of the building options, we can now offer the client different options of tray ceilings within the project.